Yesterday I did a video where I compared the new series from Beretta, the Beretta 92X series, to the older 92FS series. After I did that video, it seems more people were far more interested in knowing what are the difference between the 92X and the Beretta M9A3 since these guns seem to be more similar. The main thing they seem to want to know is if the M9A3 is worth that extra $400. The MSRP on the 92X is $700, whereas the MSRP on the M9A3 is $1,100. So what I thought I'd do today is I would compare these two guns. I would show how they are similar and how they are different. And we will see at the end if we think that extra $400 is justified. Now, before we look at how these guns are different, let's look at how they are the same. Okay, now first off, both guns do use the Vertex style frame. They have the flatter back with a more 1911 style grip. And both guns do have cross hatch serrations both on the fronts of the grip and the rear of the grip. Both the M9A3 and the 92X also come standard with accessory rails. Both the M9A3 and the 92X have rear combat style sights and both guns have dovetailed removable front sights. Both guns use the universal slide and can come as a double action, single action with decocker and manual safety like the M9A3 here, or they can be decocker only like the 92X I'm showing here. Both guns have the oversized reversible and textured magazine release. Also, both the M9A3 and the 92X come with the D hammer spring installed from the factory. Both guns come with three magazines, which hold a standard capacity of up to 17 rounds. Both guns come with beveled magwells, standard from the factory. And if we look at the internals of the slides here, you can see there's absolutely no difference in there. They are built exactly the same with the same universal slide and the same internals. And finally, if you look at the internals of the frames, they are also identical. All right, now that we've looked at all the traits the guns share, let's look at how they're different. Okay, the first big difference you'll probably notice between these two guns is the actual color of the finish. The 92X comes only in black, whereas the M9A3 comes in multiple colors, including this variation, which is not one, not two, but three different shades of baby diarrhea, everything from minced peas to strained carrots. Now, the second biggest difference you'll probably notice right off the bat is the barrels. The 92X comes with more of a flush fit target crowned barrel, whereas the M9A3 comes with a threaded barrel, which lends itself more to using accessories like suppressors. Another difference is with the actual sights. The 92X comes with a blacked out rear combat sight and a simple non-tritium front painted sight whereas the M9A3 comes stock with night sights, both on the rear and on the front of the gun. Now, another big difference between these two guns is the frame. Even though they both use Vertec frames and they are identical on the interior, the exterior is slightly different. The 92X uses the more modern rounded trigger guard and it is undercut above the trigger guard behind the rail. Whereas the M9A3 has the more traditional flat trigger guard and there is no undercut above it. Now, two other tiny differences between the two guns is that the 92X comes with a flat mainspring cap, whereas the M9A3 comes with the more traditional lanyard loop. Also, the 92X comes with more attractive hex head grip screws whereas the 92X comes with slotted screws, which can be more easily removed with a casing. Now, I have never removed these screws and you can see the condition they're in, so I'm not really thrilled about the screws that came with this guy. As you can clearly see, these two guns are far more similar than they are different, but are those differences worth that extra $400 for the M9A3? The two biggest differences between the guns that would actually change the cost of the gun would be the sights and the barrels. The 92X does not have a threaded barrel and it does not have night sights. Now to buy a threaded barrel for the Beretta 92X would be about $200. And to buy night sights would be about another $150. So that's a difference of $350. You might say, well, right there's most of the difference. 
But in reality, when you compare differences like that, you also have to subtract the value of the items it did come with because these do have value. So the value of this barrel here is about a $50 difference from the threaded barrel. So there's a $50 actual difference in value between these guns. And the difference in value between the night sights, if you bought replacement sights for this gun or this gun, the ones for this gun would be about $80 more. So the night sights difference is about 80 bucks. Add that to the 50 bucks for the barrel and you're looking at a difference actually of about $130 in value. Now there are some other little differences with the M9A3, like it does have a more complex finish here, so that could add a little value, but I don't know if most people actually consider the color of their gun something that they would say that they would pay more money for, but some people would. And also the 92X just comes with a standard case, whereas the M9A3 comes with a very nice ammo style case that matches the gun. It's a very nice case. So in the end, performance between these two is not going to be very different. If you want to use a can and you don't want to replace the barrel yourself, well, then you might like the M9A3 better. But if you're not going to use a can or you can buy your own threaded barrel and replace it and sell this one, well, then you might like the 92X better because you'll save some money. And if night sights matter to you, but you don't want to have to change them, well, then the M9A3 might be worth it to you because it's worth it to not have to actually make the changes to the gun. You don't want to have to push out the old sights and put in the new ones. Whereas if you have no problem doing that, you could probably save a few bucks by buying the 92X and putting your own night sights on it. But one thing to keep in mind, if you change the sights, you're going to pay the full value for the sights to replace on this gun. And you're not really going to be able to sell the old ones. So you're going to eat all of that cost. But still, if the sights is the only thing you're changing and you're not changing the barrel, you can still save some money doing that with the 92X, whereas you can save some time and effort with the M9A3. Of course, you also have to look at one thing with the M9A3. If you like the rounded trigger guard and the undercut, well, that's quite expensive to have done to the frame. So if you want that, well, then you're definitely going to want the 92X. And you can add the things to it to make it like the M9A3. That would actually be much cheaper and easier than having the frame of the M9A3 milled and refinished. So in the end, it's really going to come down to what is your priorities. Do you want everything on the gun already? Do you want to change them themselves? Do you like the looks of the one color better? Do you want that better box, etc.? It's all going to come down to you and what you find valuable. If you like those things, well then yes, the M9A3 is worth every penny. But if you're someone who wants to save a little money and have a gun that operates just as well, especially if you're not going to use a can and you don't care about night sights, the 92X would be the gun for you.